Hello friends, uh, so this is Dr. Nikita here, your mentor for NEET PG, your mentor for NEXT and today I'm going to discuss the mnemonics for the questions that I had posted yesterday that is 28th of March on my telegram group. So if you're not a member of that group, please do join that group. The link is mentioned in the description of this video. The discussions that I'm discussing, this would also be available as a file to be downloaded in my telegram group for your easy revision later on so that you can just save this file, these questions because they are extremely important and then you can revise them before the exam. So the topic was antipsychotic drugs, side effects. Let us see the questions. There are only five questions. So just have a quick review with mnemonics. Longest acting antipsychotic, clozapine, penfluoridol, chlorpromazine or risperidone. So the answer is penfluoridol. So the mnemonic to remember this is, remember the flare pen, the pen which is their ball pen. I hope all of us remember the advertisement which used to be there in our childhood days. Likti jai kabina ruke, flare pen, writometer that was there. So it keeps on writing, it never stops. That was the advertisement which was there. Similarly, pen fluoridol, like your flare pen, it keeps on acting. That means it's the longest acting antipsychotic. So that is how you remember your plan, pen fluoridol. Now next is wet pillow syndrome is caused by. What causes wet pillow syndrome? The answer is close up in. The answer is close up in. So to remember this, we have the mnemonic that is close up in. The side effects of close up in can be remembered by the side effects of close up in can be remembered by let me just choose the pen right so you have close up in count slow it causes count slow that is wbc count slow so it causes a granulocytosis it causes a granulocytosis and uh, then you have z z stands for seizures okay seizures z is seizures so it decreases the seizure threshold and causes seizures and we know that when a person has seizures there is mouth frothing there is mouth frothing so you can remember it causes siloria okay so it causes siloria that is excessive salivation drooling of saliva so that causes wet pillow syndrome that is the pillow is getting wet because of the excess saliva so that is why the answer is close up in you can also remember c stands for carditis as well so the side effects is carditis so carditis comes low that is acranulocytosis that is seizures and in seizures there is mouth frothing that is siloria that is wet pillow syndrome so these are the important side effects of close up in so wet pillow syndrome is caused by close up in next is which of the following causes prolongation of of QT interval. So the mnemonic to remember that is QT. If you see alphabetically, Q comes first, then comes T, and then comes Z. So QT prolongation, QTZ. Z drug that is ziprasidone is the one which causes QT prolongation. So the answer is ziprasidone. Also, you should remember that after Q, QT, T is thioridazine. So thioridazine also causes QT prolongation. So QT prolongation is caused by ziprasidone and thioridazine. Next question is, which of the following causes retinal pigmentation? Chlorpromazine, ziprasidone, olanzapine or thioridazine? The correct answer is thioridazine. So in the spelling of thioridazine, you can remember it as thioredazine, that red is the color, that is pigment. So thioridazine causes red, that is red retinal pigmentation. You can just remember it like that. So thiored is your, it causes retinal pigmentation. Next is vortex keratopathy is caused by thioridazine, chlorpromazine, clozapine or olenzapine. So the answer is chlorpromazine. To remember that, remember that chlorpromazine, it causes, C stands for cornea, L stands for lens. So it causes cornea and lens deposits and in the cornea, it also causes keratopathy that is vortex keratopathy. So chlorpromazine cornea and lens deposits with vortex keratopathy. So let us quickly review this. Longest acting antipsychotic penfluoridol, wet pillow syndrome, close up in, then prolongation of QT interval, ziprasidone and thioridazine, 
retinal pigmentation thyroidazine and vortex keratopathy is chlorpromazine. This is the answer key to this question. As I said, this document would be available for your revision to be downloaded as a PDF on my telegram group, Dr. Nikita's Rad Synapse. The link is available in the description below. I'll be coming up with more such videos to stay notified about the same. Subscribe to my channel with the, pre with the bell icon on so that you do not miss on any new videos which I would be coming up. Also, I'm coming up with an amazing plan to keep the students engaged during this lockdown period to give them daily targets so that, you know, they do not lose track of their preparation and they do not waste time. I'll be coming up with that video to tell about the same very soon. So stay tuned. Thank you. Signing off for today, Dr. Nikita Yor.